Hi, I'm Rajita Mane and I'm a staff scientist here at the Lunar and Planetary Institute and I am very excited this year that LPI will be hosting the 50th Planetary Science Summer Internship Program. I am one of the coordinators for this program and I've also been mentor uh, in the past. Every year since 1977, LPI hosts about 10 to 12 undergraduate students um, who work with scientists from LPI and NASA Johnson Space Center on various planetary science projects. Our students also get to visit various labs and facilities at Johnson Space Center and participate in networking activities and professional development activities um, throughout the summer. Here I have Dr. Julie Stoper and uh, Claudia Bellardi here today uh, to talk about the internship program. Hi, Claudia, and hi, Julie. Hi, Projecta. Um, yeah, I'm a staff scientist here at the Lunar and Planetary Institute as well. Um, and I'm also helping coordinate the science uh, activities and the program for this coming summer. Um, and I've also been a mentor uh, in quite a few times in this program as well. Hi, my name is Claudia Bellard and I am the program manager for the LPI Summer Intern Program. And I look forward to working with y'all this summer. So this is a highly competitive program. Every year we get thousands of applications. So Claudia, since you have been working with these applications for many years, do you have any tips for our uh, new applicants this year uh, to write a successful application? Thank you, Projecta. That is a great um, question. Yes, um, there are a few things that I'd like to share. And one of them is for the applicant to make sure that first that you are eligible, read through all the available material online, make sure it's this is very important that you are available for the dates that are identified on the web page, which is June 1st through August the 8th. From there, I encourage you that for you to reach out to your advisors or your professors, whomever you're going to ask for a letter of recommendation. And with that, include your resume and also give them a blurb of a blurb, meaning a paragraph of things that you want to highlight of what you've done during your school year um, from that particular professor or class that you're in. If you led a um, lab, if you were a team lead for a lab, or if you led a field camp, things like that that you highlight will definitely make your application stand apart from everyone else. So kind of like a job application, you wanna highlight the skill sets that you have also. And um, if you have um, knowledge, let's say Python, you wanna identify that. So with the letter of recommendations, I encourage you, give your advisors time for them to look at the material you wrote and let them know what you are applying for. Don't just kind of blindside them. Let them know, hey, I'm interested. I'm applying for the LPI summer intern program. I'm excited and want you to provide a, a good letter recommendation and do follow-ups. Remind them. And also, you can keep track of your application because you're going to receive a confirmation that we received your application, so you can definitely track it. So that's very important. And another thing, um, we require an official transcript. Get with your university registrar's office, um, coordinate with them to send us your official transcript before the deadline of December the 12th, 2025. We believe in y'all, and this program would not be in existence without y'all. And I encourage y'all to apply, make sure you are eligible and you meet the criteria. And um, we look forward to receiving your application. And if you have any questions, I recommend that you go to the frequently uh, um, the FAQs to frequently ask questions. Many of your questions are answered in this area. So if not, you can drop me an email and I'm happy to assist you and answer any questions that you may have that the FAQs may not have. 
Julie, what are yeah. some of the favorite aspects of this internship? Oh, yeah. Well, first, I was going to um, expand on something Claudia was talking about and say, you know, we do have um, students that come here from a variety of institutions and a variety of backgrounds. So please do apply if you're interested. Um, and one of the things that I really like about the program um, as a mentor and a researcher is even though we have a mentee mentor kind of relationship, there's also another level to it. Um, and that is very much a scientific and research collaboration. Um, and I really enjoy working in that environment and having the students uh, involved in the research and then take on the research and take it in their own directions. Um, and another thing that I noticed after doing this for many years is that um, often students will come and they're very, they're feeling nervous and they're wondering, oh, I don't think I have the right skills for this, or I don't have the right background, or I don't have the right experience, or I didn't take the right class. But they get here and they start working with their mentor and they start working on their project and they find, you know, that a lot of research is investigating things you don't already know and that's very natural and so as they work on the projects they get involved i love to see them take ownership of the projects and they take it on and they add their own perspectives to that research um, and i love working in that environment with the students and i see them grow their confidence as researchers during the summer and then they take that back home with them when they go home um, and another thing about the program, it, it doesn't really end at the summer either. Um, you know, during the summer, the students and the staff here and the scientists here at the Lunar and Planetary Institute, as well as Johnson Space Center, very supportive of the students, very supportive of the program and the research. And everyone is very collaborative and help each other and support each other during the summer. But it doesn't just end at the summer. Um, that network and that collaboration continues and um, we are very excited to hear from our former students and hear where they end up, um, find out what, you know, what they learned from their research and what, what they've taken forward with them. That's great. I'm really excited to see all the great applications that we are going to be receiving this year. So 12 December, that's the deadline. Start early, as Claudia said, and all the best with your applications.